today we're going to be looking at a glimpse into the future of water sport. Today we're looking at the Sea Breacher. In Space Sea Breacher is a two-seat semi-submersible personal watercraft submarine with a shape based on that of the dolphin and the ability to imitate a dolphin's movement. The watercraft was designed and developed by two engineers, New Zealander Rob Inns and his partner, American Dan Piazza, who are also the founders of the American company InSpace Incorporated, which markets, builds and sells the semi-sub watercraft to customers. If you have around 51,000 to 71,000 pounds or up to 80,000 US dollars to spend, the Sea Breacher, which is available in X, Y, and Z models, is the vessel that will give you the ultimate water sports experience. It combines the experiences of a jet ski, fighter jet, and a submarine. Sea Breacher is the production model of the single seat in space Dolphin. The two seat vessel is powered by an Atkins rotary marine engine coupled to a Hearth V-Drive transmission. Sea Breaches are available in a wide array of color specifications and insignias and are customizable. Unlike conventional watercraft that only operate on a two-dimensional plane, the Sea Breacher operates more like an aircraft with all three axes of control, pitch, roll, and yaw. This allows the vessel to carve left and right, jump over, dive under, and cut through the waves. The latest model is even capable of 360 degree barrel rolls on the water. However, the vessel is only capable of diving up to six feet for 30 seconds. This is due to the fact that this is the maximum depth and time where the oxygen supplied to the gasoline engine is not hampered. It achieves a top speed of 25 miles an hour underwater and up to 60 miles an hour above water. The vehicle is built for both fresh water and salt water. It is interesting to note that the cockpit inside is completely watertight underwater. However, it can be turned open for surface cruises. While pilots do need to clock in up to eight hours of training on the Sea Breacher, it does not require any additional certifications other than a jet ski license. The vessel can also be towed from and to the water, like boats. The concept of the Sea Breacher came from VOSH, which is the, the acronym for Variable Attitude Submersible Hydrofoil. This was invented by Thomas Doc Rowe and Dennis Dusty Kaiser in the 1980s with their boat Noland 1. The Bionic Dolphin was conceived in 1974 by Thomas A. Rowe, although prototype development did not begin until 1988 and the first prototype, Noland 1, did not make his first historic flight until September the 7th, 1992 at Oak Bottom Marina on Whiskey Town Lake in Northern California. It was, according to Discover Magazine, the Acus parallel to the Wright Brothers' achievement, underwater flight. The Noland 1 design was actually fashioned more after penguins than dolphins, according to Rowe. I wanted something very light with enough built-in flotation to be unsinkable and at the same time, I wanted something agile and quick, like an aerobatic stunt plane in the water. And then, when we built it, we found we had it. In an effort to advance the technology, Doc worked with other enthusiasts, such as the ones at InSpace, which have each diverged in their designs with varying results. Rob went more with the full dolphin shape, which absolutely works sick underwater, but it had difficulty achieving the surface speeds we were seeking, said Rowe. The current Sea Breacher has the dolphin-shaped design, however, there are tweaks to improve on the surface speeds. The Wash 
is registered as patent number US 5237952 in the United States. That reads, a watercraft having positive static buoyancy is provided, which is operable both as a hydrofoil and submersible vessel. It is generally shaped in the form of a dolphin or porpoise with the equivalent of fins acting as both navigation and attitude control mechanisms. Pectoral or forward fins provide hydrofoil struts when manipulated into one position and then are operable as diving planes when displaced into an alternate position. The dorsal fin provides supplemental rudder control. A pair of flukes or rear fins provide for pitch and or or dive control, while the vessel operates in the submerged mode. These fins and a propulsion system are either manually or computer controlled by way of handheld joysticks and foot rudders. Submerged operation is achieved with an internal combustion motor by including an air compressor and air storage tank or tanks with an air intake arrangement having automatically operable devices serving to open and close an air intake in response to exposure to water. The vessel also provides positive static buoyancy in the event of any system's failure while submerged. If the vessel incurs an impact, a rear hull section containing the fuel tank is jettisoned to avoid fire or explosion. The vessel is capable of limited ballistic flight above the surface of the water due to a combination of relatively high subsurface velocities attainable and the natural positive buoyancy of the craft, which may be used to enable it to break well clear of the surface. Now that concludes this episode of GK Tidbits. We looked at the amazing watercraft called the Sea Breacher and how it offers a future into the world of water sport.